Shipombo said there is a misuse of antibiotics leading to resistance in humans, animals and plants. She said the Antimicrobial Resistance Awareness Week educates the public on the dangers of misusing antibiotics. So with every time that they're exposed to that particular antimicrobial, they will um, develop the way to protect themselves. The problem we have now is that it's happening at an accelerated rate. In fact, I, um, from the statistics from last year, mm -hmm. the deaths from AMR alone were more than HIV and AIDS in the sub-Saharan African region. Mm -hmm. So um, the theme, educate, advocate and act now, calls on to us. Agriculture Ministry State Veterinarian Dr. Paul Sitwala said farmers are eating meat from underdosed livestock. We should consider when we what happens on the farm to land in the, in, in the animal. There is uh, some farmers forget to, to observe what we call the withdrawal period in animals. Mm -hmm. This is the time from the last time or the last dose on the animal up to the time you can consume the products from the animal, be it the milk or meat. And every day of that time you are consuming, you are taking that small amount of dose of that antimicrobial into the body, in, be it in a family setup. Mm. So everyone in that household is consuming that small amount. A UNAM pharmacist lecturer, Pia Simeon, said doctors and pharmacists should educate patients on antibiotic misuse. Simeon said over-the-counter medicines should only be administered with a legitimate doctor's prescription. Please complete your prescribed antimicrobial course. We usually have to confirm that the prescription is valid. Mm -hmm. And secondly, we have to make sure that the antimicrobials which are prescribed for a patient are the right one mm -hmm. and in the right dosage mm -hmm. for the right duration. The Awareness Week is celebrated globally and is set to conclude on Sunday, the 24th of November.